Hello Bricksters, this is the final review of the Diagonally. This is Weasley's Wizard Wheezes and Nocturne Alley. This is number 4 and the final one. Let's get into it. This is Draco Malfoy. He has his nice Slytherin torso. And his face print is very angry. At the back he has some printing as well. And his other face print is a little bit standard. This is Lucius Malfoy. And he has some really nice printing on his torso and legs at the back he has some some prints as well and no second face so this is the only face you're getting from him it looks really cool I like that they included one of the old ones from Harry Potter from like the first sets and he's using it to like a walking stick which is really cool this is Fred Weasley and he has a really nice print on his torso and his face print is really cool at the back he has some printing as well and his second face is very nice this is George and he has a similar torso print and the back is the same as his brother his face is different and looks very cool and the second face is like a, a smiley face and it's one of the best faces that I've ever seen in Lego form this is the, so cool this is the building of Weasley's Wizard Weasets and Nocturne Alley I like that they added this thing that they can turn around a little lantern really nice windows some nice tiles at the roof and a figure and if you look through the windows you can see his legs a little bit now let's try and take some of the windows out. Wait, can I do it like this? Yeah. You can see front and here are the legs <laughs> completely ruined but you can see that there are a lot of stickers these are all stickers everything everything like details that you see is by stickers so let's build this up later and that's just one what I wanted to show you there's a really nice window here that can turn 
um, a sticker that says Nocturne Alley. I really like his head and this can go up and down. But we are looking at that function later on in this set. At the side of the building you have some nice stickers. It says Dark Mark something with uh, W and Jinx off. I'm not sure what that means but these are some nice stickers on the side of the building. Let's start at the bottom floor and you can see one of the old ball pieces, fish ball pieces that we know all from the first Harry Potter sets and it's included in this set. You have some stickered boxes, some bottles, or some more bottles and accessories back there and a box here that says Dancing Doxy and it says it drives cats crazy at this side this says up up Maya Magical more I think you have to read it from up to down but I'm not sure and it's just nice that you have like these words on the chair on the staircase you can see some boxes back here some lollipops or whatever they are some more bottles and everything and a nice lantern here if you move up a little bit you can see a sticker here which is a mice it's just a ma something some magician or something really nice and some boxes here a cup and a crystal which is really nice very nice details from way up here you can see these boxes a little bit better which says Fred Weasley's basic blaze box I think that's like fireworks or something you have the balloons which are new pieces which is just this piece in black and in like what is this green very light green if you go up you can see some more boxes at the attic some some mini 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 figures you can see some more details of things you can buy not really much a lot going on I really like the staircase that they made I'm only I don't understand why they didn't had a leaning on this side. I don't know why they didn't do that, but it's cool. And another lantern here, which is really nice. Now, to show you this function, you have to move this up and down and it lifts this up it's just working by this thing it's moving up and down it will move the head up and down which is a nice add-on to the set in the instructions can see a 
the front that this is the last building. So we we've built all three of these and this is the last one. Number four. It tells you a little bit about the shops. Back numbers. And instructions. At the end you have all the names of all the characters you're getting in this set, which is really cool. And what's just really cool is I think these are all the names of all the people who designed this set. And I I mean if you like music, you like the artist, right? If you like a Lego set. You're like what? Who are you supposed to like? You like you're supposed to like these people. I mean, like these are the musicians of a Lego set. These are like the soccer players of your Lego team, and they they make your set. They they are the reason that you enjoy this so much. So big shout out to them, and I would definitely put up a poster above my bed of his face because he's a very good designer did some very good jobs and you know that that's why that's why we have to hear more about the designers because they they are the rock stars you know they they made this and there's the questions or, or like a q and a with these people and, and i really like that some more photos about designing the model and some display functions. You can uh, have these opened up sides uh, add to each other, and then you have like this perfect building, like this big building, which is really cool. And uh, you can do it like the alley, like the other way around, with builds on the side on, on both sides, or you can or you can close them. With the open with the openings to each other like like this and it's really cool some other sets that you probably already bought and then this set came out and you thought oh shoot I have to buy this one as well yeah okay that's understandable so these were the buildings and I think this is awesome this is an awesome set. Another fun thing that they included it in this build is the stand with the love potions. You, yeah, that I think that's what it is because it's filled with hearts. I really like this piece. It's it's a cool piece, and, and I think it's on the friends line or Disney line, but it's really cool. And in the in the fifth or the sixth movie, they they visit these uh, Weasleys, Wizard Weasleys, and then they they stand around this build talking about the love potion that's in here, and that's really cool that they included it, like throwback to that scene. That's that's something that Lego does really great, and yeah, I made a little scene to laugh about, and that's what you get when you don't add enough uh, leaning in the set. The minifigures fall off. So Lucius is trying to save Malfoy from falling down, and Fred and George are laughing about it, cause he's a yeah. <laughs> this set is great this set is awesome this whole set this building is I think one of the most fun builds and it's the last build but the most fun one I've built at this in like every day one building and that's the best thing to do because it's over 10 hours building and it's it's really cool it's enjoyable but don't don't build this at once you know just split it in four buildings and then it's the most fun every day a little bit and 
yeah 400 euro is definitely worth it to buy it it's a great set and i think they're going to be add-ons because of all these all these connection pins at the bag and and on the side these are definitely options to make more of these buildings and sell them separately or another diagonally set but i'm i'm not sure how they would call that like diagonally troop and low i don't know and yeah it's just really cool lots of options lots of nice pieces to use in your marks and the builds on this on their own are, are like great and yeah i'm very happy i bought this this is the best set of the year for me best christmas present ever you know that you can buy for your kid or anything or just for display it, it's a great set and if you think the same then let me know in the comments below i want to know all your opinions everything just throw them out yeah i want to know it and if you like the video that would be great hit that su subscribe button also i i want you as one of the bricksters in my brickster crew and uh, make fun videos for you so stay tuned and i will see you all later ciao